Prince Harry made a shock comment about the weight of his first child as he believes Meghan is carrying a heavy baby, but what are the heaviest royal babies in history? Harry and Meghan were out and about once again, as the Duchess of Sussex showed off her growing baby bump at the Endeavour Fund Awards in London. During the event Prince Harry made a comment about Meghan's blooming baby bump. The Duke said Meghan was having a heavy baby as he spoke to guests at the event. The Heaviest Royal Babies Prince Louis broke the record for heaviest baby born to an heir when he was born on St. George's Day last year, weighing 8 pounds, 7 ounces. The Duchess of Cambridge's third child was her heaviest child, as Louis beat his older brother Prince George by 1 pound. Prince George had originally held the record when he was born on July 22, 2013, weighing 8 pounds 6 ounces. Princess Charlotte weighed a little less, at 8 pounds 3 ounces when she was born on May 2, 2015. However, the heaviest royal baby title is now held by Lena Tindall, the daughter of Queen Elizabeth's granddaughter Zara Tindall. She broke records when she was born on June 18, 2018 at Stroud Maternity Unit. Lena weighed 9 pounds 3 ounces and knocked her cousin Savannah Phillips to claim the title of heaviest royal baby. Zara was seen cradling her large baby bump at the wedding of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex a month before the birth of her second child. Savannah weighed 8 pounds 8 ounces when she was born on December 29, 2010. The Tyndall's first-born child Mia weighed a lot less when she was born in January 2014 to 7 pounds 3 ounces. The average weight of a baby in the UK is 7 pounds 7 ounces. According to pregnancy and parenting website babycenter.co.uk, subsequent babies are usually bigger than first-born babies and weigh in around 5 ounces heavier. Prince William weighed 7 pounds 1.5 ounces in 1982, while younger brother Prince Harry weighed 6 pounds 14 ounces in 1984. Their father, Prince Charles, weighed 7 pounds 6 ounces in 1948. Charles wrote to Prince William's godmother Patricia Bradbourne after the birth, I am so thankful I was beside Diana's bedside the whole time before by the end of the day I really felt as though I shared deeply the process of birth and as a result was rewarded by seeing a small creature which belonged to us even though he seemed to belong to everyone else as well. Queen Elizabeth was reportedly in labor for 30 hours before giving birth by cesarean section.